myself, uh, Mohammad Ayaz Khan, Science and Technology Faculty at Next IS. Today, I am here with you to have the discussion on the Science and Technology PYQs, previous year's questions. Uh, we are not simply going to give you the answer of the questions, uh, like for this question, this is the answer. Uh, I will give you uh, uh, an idea about the concept uh, and something uh, beyond the question which has been uh, which has been asked in the UPSC, so that if uh, some question comes in the upcoming preliminary on the similar lines, you should be able to handle that. Uh, it would not be possible to do that in all the questions, but wherever it is possible, I will be doing that. So, it will take some time, but uh, we will do it bit comprehensively. Thank you very much. Huh? So, this was the question in preliminary 2023 and the first module we are going to start with this space, then biotech, then energy, then IT and then miscellaneous. This will be the order of the discussion of the topics. Huh? So, like uh, this was a pair questions, uh, like uh, consider the following pairs, first this is objects in a space and second is the description. So, if you see here, if you see here, uh, first thing is cepheid, what is cepheid, huh? then what is nebula and what is pulsar. So, if you see here, like uh, it is very simple, huh? uh, they have just uh, done this uh, like this. Huh? and like this. So, they have just uh, you know exchange or interchange the, the description. Uh, so, first start with cepheids, actually cepheids are the variable stars, they are called variable stars. Variable stars, they, they, their mass is around 5 times the mass of the sun. Why they are called variable star? Because they have uh, this uh, brightening up uh, and obviously the dimming happening periodically. So, that is what we call as cepheid. So, first for cepheid, this is the right description. So, obviously, this is not correctly matched. Then what is nebula? Uh, now, actually like uh, what is nebula? Nebula obviously is nothing but uh, the you know the giant cloud of dust and gas in a space. Gas means plasma here. Hmm? So, it is nothing but plasma. So, for nebula that is it is a pulsars. Huh? Now, pulsars uh, those who are looking to appear in preliminary 2024, for you this is a very important area of question because this was in the news, this was in the current affairs. So, oh, like uh, what uh, we should do, what you should do like for the upcoming preliminary, this is one area you should focus more because this was found to be the uh, like uh, associated with the for detection of the gravitational waves of extreme low frequency, which cannot be detected by the LIGOs or laser interferometer gravitational wave observatory, that I will tell you later. See, pulsars are like a type of a neutron star. Now, what is a neutron star? Neutron star is something where you know, like just take this way, the, ma the sun is compressed, sun, uh, suraj, huh? sun is compressed uh, in a diameter of around 20 kilometer. And here the gravity is so strong that the electrons and the protons, hmm, electron and proton combines to form the neutron that is called uh, neutron star. But then within the neutron star, within the neutron star there is a category, there is a category called if you see neutron stars, there is a category called pulsar and there is a category called Magnetar, magnetar, pulsars. Hmm? Actually, pulsars uh, mm -hmm. are known as nature's best clock. Inko bola jata hai nature's best clock. Okay. So, wha like, uh, what is pulsar? Actually, they are rapidly rotating stars. Rapidly rotating stars, and uh, they emit, they emit light periodically like uh, that you know lighthouse on the seashore or which we call as beacon. Huh? So, it is like this uh, and if it is say a 10 millisecond pulsar, so it will always uh, have a burst of light coming after 10 millisecond. That is why they are called as nature's best clocks. Now, magnetar are the neutron stars, are the neutron stars with the most 
powerful magnetic field most powerful magnetic field okay fine so then uh, on the surface of the magnetic on the surface of magnetars on the surface of magnetars there are elf when waves elf when waves and these alpha when waves are because of the disturbance in the magnetic field so jab magnet r ke surface par magnetic field mein disturbance hota hai when there is a disturbance on the surface of a magnet r it results in the formation of the waves called alpha when waves and these alpha when waves are associated with gamma ray bursts gamma ray burst Okay, fine. Now let's come back. Uh, where were we? अब जब थोड़ा सा इसके बारे में और बता दो पल्सर्स के बारे में. अभी पल्सर्स जो थे, they were in the news. Uh, how they were in the news? Because these pulsars, uh, uh, they were studied. Uh, they were obviously there was this uh, international pulsar time array. Pulsar time array means. Uh, uh this is a collection of the radio telescopes in different parts of the world radio telescopes huh? so they are having radio telescopes and these radio telescopes were in different parts of the world from india the telescope which was a part of this was gmrt pune giant meter wave radio telescope pune this gmrt along with the parks telescope uh, in australia then you know nano grave nano grave of usa ha huh? grave mein e nahi lagega matlab badal jayega nahi to nano grave of usa and obviously european pta besides that there was you know chinese and the japanese also they have obviously confirm that uh, there is a continuous uh, hum sound continuous hum sound in the universe okay and that continuous hum sound in the universe is because of uh, what we call as the gravitational waves which are of extreme low frequency hmm? so thoda sa ye थोड़ा सा मैंने आपको करंट बताने की कोशिश की कि इस बार जब हम प्री की तैयारी करेंगे तो सिर्फ हम इस क्वेश्चन में से पुलसार या सफेद या न्यूट्रॉन स्टार पढ़कर नहीं जाएंगे मेरा फोकस अगर मैं 2024 में प्रिलिमिनरी एग्जाम दूँ अगर तो मैं इस थीम में से पुलसार पे फोकस करूँगा क्योंकि ये न्यूज़ में है ठीक है तो दिस इज़ हाउ वी हैव टू मेक इंटेलिजेंट गैसेज एंड होप समम क्लिक्स आई नो ऑल ऑफ दम आर नॉट गोइंग टू क्लिक If it clicks, it's just a coincidence, huh? तो बाकी बातें इससे इसके बारे में हम आगे करेंगे क्योंकि ये भी हमें पी वाई क्यू डिस्कस करना है तो यहाँ पर मैं आपको हिंट देता चलूंगा आई विल कीप ऑन ड्रॉपिंग यू द हिंट कि अब आप यहाँ पर फोकस करिए इसके साथ साथ एंड दिस इज हाउ वी हैव टू पिकअप द थीम्स फ्रॉम द न्यूज पेपर एंड द पी वाई क्यूज एंड प्रिपेयर दैम हाँ सो वी आर नॉट गोइंग टू पुश द वॉल वी हैव टू मेक इंटेलिजेंट गैसेज सो फाइन so here if you can see this question hmm, this is not correctly paired this is not correctly paired uh, this is correctly paired huh? so here answer is a for this question fine so now let's move to the second question we okay hmm? so if you see here with this was again a question uh, asked in 2023 from the space module about the navigation system about the navigation system again navigation system is one of the you know the important areas of upsc question if you see uh, they have asked the question of navigation in 2000 uh, uh, 15 mains there was a question in 2016 mains there was a question 
uh, if I'm not wrong, in 2019 preliminary, and there was a question in 2023 preliminary. So yes, I'm I'm trying to tell you, navigation system should be the theme of our preparation rather than any specific navigation system. Obviously, IRNSS you have to prepare in detail. So this was a very straightforward question: which of the following countries have its own satellite navigation system? So here the answer is, uh, you know, Japan. But 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 see, you all know that. Uh, the countries with the navigation system IRNSS, Indian Regional Navigation Satellite System, also known as NAVIC, has got seven satellites. Okay. Then uh, GPS of USA with 24 satellites, GLONASS of Russia, 21 plus 3 satellites. Y3 because 3 in temporary orbit, 21 in final orbit. Then you have Galileo of Europe, 30 satellites. Then you have Compass or Bidu of uh, China. It's not Bidu's, it is Bidu. of China with 35 satellites and then we have quasi zenith of Japan with 4 satellites. Okay. So here this is not the answer. These are the only navigation systems of the world. This is not the answer. This is not the answer. This is the answer. Japan. Okay. So that is it. Sure. Uh, jot down this information. Details of IRNSS will come in the next, uh, in the upcoming question, uh, which is, which will be there huh, in the PYQ. So let us uh, move to the next question. Okay. Now in the major, you know, if a major solar storm reaches the earth, which of the following are the possible effects on the earth? So this is obviously is about uh, geomagnetic storm, geomagnetic storm. So we need to understand uh, certain things uh, about uh, this, uh, there is uh, there is a, you know, <coughs> uh, you know, coronal mass ejection. Coronal mass ejection is the release of plasma from sun at a very high speed. Okay. So, when it obviously, when it comes towards the earth, uh, it is going to cause certain effects. Huh? So one of the thing is that uh, the earth's magnetic field deflects that plasma. But at some places where the magnetic field of the earth is weak, this plasma can obviously come, can penetrate the magnetic field. And if it comes down, it will obviously going to damage the pipelines, going to damage the communication system going to damage the power grades, okay, etc, etc, etc. So this is basically about the geomagnetic storm. This basically is about geomagnetic storm. And geomagnetic storm is because of coronal mass ejection, which is deflected by Earth's magnetic field. Okay, so obviously if it is coming towards earth, you will have the GPS navigation system, the satellites, they will get affected by it. Tsunamis could occur, obviously tsunamis, uh, there is no reason for this to be associated with tsunamis. Okay, power grids will be damaged because uh, when this uh, plasma will enter into the magnetic field, it will cause obviously generation of the current hmm, and the magnetic field which is going to damage the power grids this is happened intense auroras auroras you know the polar lights aurora australis and aurora borealis that will happen orbits of the satellite could be disturbed now this uh, is one thing uh, orbits of the satellites uh, will not be disturbed hmm. how the satellites can damaged or might get damaged so this is one thing we need to obviously 
short wave radio communication of the aircraft flying over polar region could be interrupted. Hmm. So, the aircrafts flying over the you know the polar region. So, if you see the question here, hmm, 2 and 6 are not the you know correct uh, you know options, but if we see here, hmm, if we see here, uh, this is no there is no such option where obviously 6 uh, because here 2 a tsunami is there and then obviously in all the others the 6 is present. So, we need to look into it. Hmm. So, here 1, 3, 4, 6 and 7 the answer is going to be the C for this question the most probable answer. Hmm is C other than the tsunami and obviously the forest fires, sure. So, this was the answer for this solar storm. Now, let us uh, move to the next question. Uh, which one of the following is the reason why astronomical distances are measured in light years? You all know the distance we measure is in light years. So, this is a very straightforward on, uh, answer. Distance among stellar bodies do not change. St distance among stellar bodies do change because there is expansion of the universe huh? and that expansion of universe is because of the dark energy that we will see. Gravity of stel stellar bo bodies does not change again that is also not the reason. Speed of light is always same. Light travels in a straight line. Yes, light travels in a straight line. But the thing is the speed of light is always same, this is the answer. Hmm. So, <coughs> why like uh, we measure distance, it is because the speed of light is same. Hmm. So, that way we are able to arrive at a correct estimation of the distance.